This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer, you took the softball team in to Chris Field and beat them on a wet field 23-8. to Now you travel to Mardella to take on the Bayside South champions. How do you feel going into that game without, a, without any practice? It's been rainy out. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer, you took the softball team into Chris Field Friday, being on 23-8 to in a rainy field in a different time. How do you feel about that win? <laughs> I was good, man. You're messing with me. I said, wait. Right. This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer, on Friday, you went into Chris Field. <laughs> You're laughing, man. This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer, you went into Chris Field Friday on a rainy field, beating number. Taking on number four rank, it's Chris Field. This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer, on Friday you went into Chris Field and beat number four rank, the number four ranked team, 23 to eight. Now you, now you go to Mardella and take on the... He did it again. This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications, interviewing Mr. Zimmer. Mr. Zimmer, you took the softball team into Chris Field on a rainy field, taking on the number four seed, and beat them 23-8. to eight. Now, without any practice in between, you take on Mardella, the Bayside South champs. How do you feel? Um, it'll be definitely be a challenge. They're a very good team. Uh, not having uh, practice really for a while because of the way the weather's been. Um, while I would say it's a disadvantage to us, I mean, everyone's had to go through it. So um, just as long as we can go out there and, and play the best that we can, that's that's all we can ask for. Did you wash your clothes after the rainy, <laughs> the rainy game? I did. I Luckily, I was not as muddy as some of the other girls were, but... Um, you know, I did go home and wash my clothes. Did you wash their clothes? I we washed all the uniforms here at school. Yes. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. How do you feel going into today's game against Bayside South champs Mart Mardello without any practice? I feel confident after Friday's game. As long as we hit the ball and have sound defense, we'll play great. Thank you. Good luck. This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Coach Becker for the baseball team. Mr. Becker, how do you how do you feel going into your first the first round of playoffs being against local rival Snow Hill? Uh, I think it's going to be a good game. They beat us uh, both games previously throughout the season, and uh, I think that we're going to make some adjustments. Come out, and if we throw the ball, hit the ball, and catch the ball, we'll be okay. Why are you so tall? Why are you on a chair? Because you're so tall. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, genetics. Genetics. Good, good answer. Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Jake Bugger. Jake, you pitched the whole game. You had 105 pitches. So. Are you tired? No, I can get some more. This was a pretty, uh, pretty fun game. Pretty close. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Kenny. Exactly what we needed. I only needed one run at that point, and, uh, you know, we got it. With weather impending, like bad weather, rain. Hey, you ready, Mr. Wait, make sure it's on. It's on. It's on. Let me take my gun. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Coach Gladding. Coach Gladding, congratulations on your win against your rival Mardella. Thanks, Kenny. Um, you won by 16 points. What was your key, your defensive. Can we start? This is Kenny Christopher, Warriors Communications. Congratulations on your win against Survival Mardella tonight, Thanks, Coach Gladding. Um, what was your defensive, the keys to your defensive success tonight? 
I think that our press was the key to our success. I think we got a lot of easy points off that, especially in the very first or second quarter, the very beginning of that. We got a lot of steals and got easy points, and I think that helped us get our offense running. I also okay. thought that um, we did a nice job going out and t covering Taylor Ross. Taylor is probably their best outside shooter, and we had worked on in practice yesterday about stepping out and making sure we had a hand in the face and not jumping, and I thought our girls did really well on that in our 2-3. Are there any like, are there any adjustments you're going to make to prepare for the regional finals? Well, I think the biggest adjustment we're going to make is we're going to shoot layups a whole lot in practice so that we don't miss quite so many as we missed in this last one. But no, we're we're going to stay with our defense, um, the quick rotation, you know, um, pressing. We're going to stay with that. Okay. Thank you, and good luck moving forward. Thank you. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications. Thank you. Is it on? Question. <laughs> what if I said that? <laughs> um, what have you been doing in practice to prepare for? This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer for the upcoming playoff game versus Chris Field. <laughs> oh, <awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> I was singing back to the announcements. <laughs> Mr. Zimmer. Oh. Sure. <laughs> 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 a little too late for that. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications interviewing Mr. Zimmer for the the coach of the softball team. Mr. Zimmer, you play your first softball playoff game against Chrisfield at Chrisfield. You already beat them once at Crisfield. What are your plans to to win again? <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications, interviewing Mr. Zimmer, the softball coach. Mr. Zimmer, you play Crisfield mm, tomorrow at one. <laughs> I didn't even laugh that time. He did. Good afternoon. This is Mr. Zimmer with Warriors Communications interviewing um, Jesse Mandeville. Um, so, Kenny, how do you think um, – oh, sorry, Kenny Christopher. Um, how do you think um, this interview is going to go? Horribly wrong. I think I'm going to laugh a lot, probably start over like ten times. So just like every other interview you do? Yeah, <laughs> just about. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Corey. This is Kenny Christopher for Warriors Communications, interviewing Mr. Becker, the Warriors Communications teacher. <laughs> Mr. Becker. <laughs> Go! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher reporting for Warriors. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher for. Warriors communications. <laughs> this is Kenny fly by the seat of my pants, Christopher. Reporting <laughs> for Warriors Communications. Interviewing Mr. Becker. Mr. Becker, you teach Warriors Communications. How is this year compared to all the other years? First semester, second semester. Both. Well, you compare them. Um, have to be honest with you, I've had better classes in the past. Okay. Why were those classes better? Uh, because you weren't. Because <laughs> <laughs> you weren't. <laughs> 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 oh, no, stop. That was good. This is Kenny Christopher reporting for Warriors Communications, interviewing Mr. Becker. Mr. Becker, you teach Warriors Communications. How is this year compared to other years? Uh, this year was a lot. There was more students in the class. Uh, we put out more projects. More, th um, more activities. We even did some online activities. So, yeah, the class has really expanded this year. After being out for a couple months, um, how was it to come back? 
Oh, the Warriors communication? It was really good. Um, the first semester class, they finished up their project strong, did well in the midterm. A lot of the stuff we had um, published and put on YouTube, we even won a contest in first semester. So, you know, being out and coming back, it, it was good to finish up strong with, with the uh, students from first semester. How depressing has it been having Jesse Mandeville both semesters of the year? Depressing? Yeah. Yes. It's actually not depressing. I mean, we had all kinds of birthdays in here. We'd have a birthday for Jesse about every couple of weeks. So that kept it lively. Um, <laughs> and to be perfectly honest with you, his editing, if you've seen any of his work, if you let him fix your work, um, he's really good at editing. Did you say he was good at editing? <laughs> You're just trying to get this on camera. Me giving you guys a compliment. I'm not falling for it. But we already have it. Anyway. How much of a privilege has it been to teach the Kenny Christopher? Fly by the seat of my pants, Kenny Christopher. What is sweet of your pants? I said seat. I said seat. Seat? Seat. Um, it, it has to be really good, but if there's one thing I want you to know, those times that you prank me, someday, someplace, when you least expect it, I will have my revenge. And it will be served on an ice cold plate. You understand that, right? Yes. I'm waiting. You know you brought a knife to a gunfight? Yes. You sure? Yes. But I have a rocket launcher. <laughs> I have a rocket launcher? Where's that come from? That's just another prank. Like, it's bigger than yours, and it's going to be explosive. Well, not really explosive, but it's going to be in your face. All right, now he's stepping across the line. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Now what? That's it. Thank That's you. That's the only questions you have? Yeah. <laughs> this is Kenny Christopher reporting for Warriors Communications. Interviewing Mr. Sarig. Or, no.